Hey what's up guys, thought I'd share my thoughts on this DMC Devil May Cry Definitive Edition for the Xbox One. This version came out on March 2015, two years after the original DMC for the 360 and PS3 came out. This version of the game made a huge emphasis on running on 1080p and 60 frames per second, and it also includes all the DLC content from the original release. There's also new costumes, unlockables, some new gameplay features like turbo and hardcore modes, new bloody palace, and a manual of targeting system. Let's take a look at the game cover and do an unpacking. Here's the cover by the way. As you can see most games don't include much additional content anymore because all we have is just a disc and that's it. I'm old school. I enjoy looking at the manuals and reading the synopsis and look at the character art on paper. Anyways, here's the disc and yeah, that's it. Oh yeah, might as well talk about the story. The story is considered a reboot or a different version of Dante's origins. Basically about a young Dante who, who has the power of an angel and a devil. Also known as a Nephilite in biblical terms. This version of DMC isn't considered to be serious or canon. Especially since it changed Dante's original roots of being a half human half devil. But yeah, this version of DMC looks like it was inspired by the movie They Live. Where that media, products, and corporations ruled the world by some outside force. It's a great movie. You guys have to check it out if you haven't seen it. Anyways, the story proceeds when we encounter this terrorist group called the Order, which is run by Dante's brother Virgil. The Order is here to stop the outside force, which is kind of like the, how the Illuminati is portrayed in the media. Anyways, Dante fights these demons in another world called Limbo. It's kind of like an astral plane. I guess that's the best way I could explain it. The game is all about combos and stylish points. Also, the more you beat the game on a higher difficulty, the more you unlock stuff in the game as well. Now. Do I recommend this game? And I know I got it and I like it, but the question is it for you? That depends. If you played it on previous gen consoles, you're really not missing much. In fact, it's the same exact game. It's an upscale version of the previous game with the 1080p and 60 frames edition. Does it stand out? Yes. Yes it does. I could give you a side by side comparison, but I don't even think I'll give it justice on this video. It's just one of those things you have to see for yourself and see the difference yourself. This game is basically the game of the year edition since it includes all the DLC which was the Virgil downfall side story. So in the end of the day, I would recommend this game for people who never played the game on the 360 and PS3. You're really not missing much in this game. In fact, the achievements are identical to the ones that are on the PS3 and 360. Here's my achievements for the 360. I think everyone could agree that the Devil May Cry 4 Special Edition is definitely worth getting since they will add Trish, Lady, and Virgil to play as. That's all exclusive. So yeah, my recommendation is hold off on this DMC and get the Devil May Cry 4 Special Edition when it comes out. That's all I have for this video. If you enjoyed what you saw, make sure to rate, comment, subscribe, and I'm out. Peace.